The new InSight ligator is manufactured and distributed by Microtech Endoscopy. It is the only ligator that has an incorporated light and will allow you to bend under direct vision. Why is direct vision important? It is important because bands must be properly placed above the anal canal and about 10 millimeters above the dentate line. Regardless of what representatives from other companies that sell hemorrhoid ligators tell you about ligating blindly, the fact is that the anal canal length varies from 2 to 5 centimeters. If you ligate blindly and the patient has a short anal canal, you will ligate too high and will not capture the tissue that needs to be banded. The therapeutic effect of bending will be minimal. On the other hand, if you ligate blindly and the patient has a long anal canal, you will ligate too low and will cause pain and potential incontinence in the future. Also remember that you do not bend the actual hemorrhoids, but you place the band just above the hemorrhoids at their base. You will most frequently bend grade two and grade three hemorrhoids. The proper bending should be right here. It is important for the proper retraction of the tissue and scarring. This endoscopic picture with scars document that the bands were properly placed above the dentate line. If additional banding is needed, the placement of the band will be here. This is how to use the new inside ligator. Switch the light on. Check the suction by pulling and releasing the trigger. Move the bands to the front of the suction chamber. Perform rectal examination and insert the anoscope. Remove the obturator and pull the anoscope back to get the hemorrhoids in view. Then reinsert it back just at the upper border of the hemorrhoids and tilt the anoscope towards the target tissue. Squeeze the trigger to create suction and approximate the tip of the ligator to the target area. Release the trigger. This will suction the tissue in. Turn the outer to 180 degrees clockwise to release a single band. Up to three ligations can be performed. Then remove the anoscope and perform rectal examination to document proper band placement. If you would like to lag in blindly, you can use the groove on the outer tube for a guide for band placement. I will use my arm as an additional demonstration. Pull the trigger to create suction, approximate at the desired location, Release the trigger to suction the tissue in and rotate the outer tube 180 degrees to release the band. Repeat as needed. 